Everybody in? Yeah, everybody in. <laughs> we in there, we in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, hey guys, our YouTube fam, the Mass Gang, we have some special guests for you today. <laughs> <laughs> so for those who don't know, this is Kerry and this is Pierre. Hey. We're going to drop like all their information below yes. so you guys can follow them up on Instagram. I mean, yes. they're like already Instagram famous. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, but these are our YouTube brothers. Yes. yes. Yeah. So yes. we're going to be having a special couch conversation with them. So welcome them, guys. Right. 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 Welcome. We're happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In your home, mm -hmm. you know. We watch y'all all the time, and we, yeah, same we appreciate same like here. the content that y'all put out. Mm -hmm. And I low key envisioned us doing this. I ain't gonna lie. Like I did, right. I said we going we gonna do something one day. But I did not expect it to happen so soon. Right. <laughs> but I love how organic this was. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't sure. a like, oh y'all, let's meet up here. You know what? Let's just link up mm -hmm. and have a good time and right. and let it go from there. Right. Yeah, and then, I mean, like liquor makes everything so right. much easier. <laughs> <Like. laughs> we all wearing sweats, y'all. Y'all right. just, uh, just... You know, sidebars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we just come to like talk to you guys today. What we're we gonna talk about? Uh, I think we're gonna discuss the pros and cons of being a YouTube couple or even a couple in the spotlight on any social media platform. Right. Yeah. Just being in the public eye, any yes. at all. Right, when you open the doors to, you know, just... Judgment. Letting people have an opinion on yeah. the relationship, you know? Mm -hmm. So... Especially being, like, black gay couples, too. Uh, mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. right. Like, right. that's a whole nother dimension right so there. So, I have a question for y'all. Uh -huh. So, like, how does it feel, like... Because this is, as far as y'all being in a relationship, this is... Both of you guys is first like out in the open, far as like social media and yep. all that relationship. Yeah. You know, how was that to you, actually having that happen, like to both of you? First, you. How did you? How did you feel? How did well, you, yeah. How was did your emotions? Yeah. So for me, like that. That's so loaded, just because culturally, like coming from Jamaica and like when this became public, I was still working and very much in Jamaica mm -hmm. and. You know, it, it was hard because my whole life changed literally in a weekend. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, went to work the Monday and people stopped talking to me. My phone was ringing nonstop. And then I had, you know, just not issues, but like, you know, you have those little arguments mm -hmm. or disagreements with your family and those who are close to you. Mm -hmm. People who don't understand the reason why you feel the need to proclaim your love publicly, right, right, you know? Right. But for me, I just wanted to show that I'm very much proud of the person that I'm with. Right. And he makes me better. Right. Yes. And for him to be brave enough to show that publicly, then I should be able to do the same. Right. Period. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, yeah. For me, um, I think it was more scary for me, but for him. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I was already kind of out. Mm -hmm. um, my relationship with my family, I love them to death, but we weren't, we're not super close. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I needed to let them know, and that's what I did. And I was a little afraid of how they would feel, mm -hmm. but it wasn't to the magnitude of, of what he would have to yeah, do. Yeah, like, like, he tells you everything was fine, but there was a story that he told me where he was just going to drop something off to be shipped somewhere or to pick something up. Mm -hmm. And he had a group of men calling him out. They recognized who he was from the our viral picture. And they were calling him all types of Batman and like right. Chichi Man and all this shit. And he, like just bringing attention to me, like in a very public space. And he, he was minding his business. He mm -hmm. was doing his own thing. So my fear came for what he would have to deal with in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's deep. What about you, babe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, right. I had a thought earlier that just kind of lost. <laughs> <laughs> so the main question is like how to coming out, being in a relationship with I me, like think, how was it? So public. I it. think for me, it, it's a little different because it's like I I tore the line of you know being comfortable with who I was, but mm -hmm. still not being fully public, and. Uh, I think in this situation, especially, plus in a situation where my life changed because the dynamic changed, 
Like, I think the pivotal point for me was, you know, after having cancer and all that, mm -hmm. and then having this new lease on life where I'm like, you know what, the public don't do shit for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, people really don't care if you live or die. In a lot of cases, people don't even remember you. Mm -hmm. So you're over here worried about the ba the most basic ass people in some cases yeah. and they don't do shit for you yeah and not to <laughs> let you go off but right. i gotta tell you about a time where you had told me uh -huh. we had went to was it the palace it was uh -huh. my first time going to the palace mm -hmm. and i was you know for those of you who don't know what the palace is it's a gay bar restaurant right. in Miami. they have a lot of shows drive yeah shows, huh? where yeah. we live but yeah so we had they was like let's go and i was like you know what I don't know if I want to go here or like or sit in the front. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want people to like see me right. here. And he was like, "You need to start going where you're accepted, not tolerated." Mm -hmm. I know that's right. And yep. when he told me that, I was like, "You know what? That I can't. So I can't. You know, he's <laughs> right." Know. And we yeah. sat right in the front, yeah. and, and I ain't no fool. <laughs> No, like, that, good that's such time. a good lesson. That's such yeah. a good lesson. Yeah. Like, good that's time. so important. Like, we spend so much time, you know, seeking approval from other people and really and truly, like, why? Right, why? exactly. You know, right. Why? Yeah, so I think that, for me, is why this whole thing happened. Mm -hmm. And you know, because this is this is a first time for me, and I think for him too, he'll tell you his own story. Everything is trial and error. I, right? I've never really posted nobody like this, been mm -hmm. just openly public and comfortable with anybody to that point mm -hmm. where I just wanted to just like it as a matter. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. like, this is me, this is what's happening. You can like it or love it or yeah. not. It's but it feels video. so good though. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. liberating in a way because yeah, it's, it's like, very liberating. this is still, and I don't understand why in 2022 it's still such a taboo conversation to have right. with so many people. There's good people right. in the world. Yeah, like, but right to, to be able to like. post your love and not care what anybody thinks, mm -hmm. Liberation. Yeah, right. it makes me feel like because oftentimes y'all was because you know people talk, you know, running your mouth, talking about me, saying things. Like now I'm confirming it. I'm letting y'all know what it is, mm -hmm. and you know take it or leave it. And I I feel like with you guys' YouTube and our YouTube and y'all IG, all our social medias, we are as you know cliche as it may sound. We we can help somebody. Somebody. Mm -hmm. It's gonna watch this and know like, okay, you know what they did, and I can do it too. And right. that I, I think I said that yeah, on one of our videos. A lot that's of people my permission you to know. really just it's like what be you who say. they are. Yeah, it's what you say. Like this is a gay safe space. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you're safe here. You know exactly. what I mean? Like, we get DMs from people like there was a guy who was contemplating suicide. Yeah, because yeah, he did not have mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. anybody to talk to, and this was an outlet for him. Mm -hmm. right. So that's why we really continue to do it because. Of course. We want to help people. And people yeah. don't realize, like, you know, how much their words and their mm -hmm. actions can really hurt people. And mm -hmm. it's already so difficult growing up being gay mm -hmm. right. and feeling like you don't have anyone else around because you don't see it anywhere. Mm -hmm. right. Any other kind of relationship or heterosexual relationship, exactly. it's out there, it's approved. You, you come into this world seeing that. Great, right. But the minute that it's anything outside of that, it's a problem or a menace to society. Mm -hmm. Isn't it crazy that, like, I, I'm pretty sure you've never seen a black gay couple in, anywhere. As a kid growing up, like, never, you know never. what? I can as aspire to be like that. Never. Right? And the only, never. the only gay images that we had <laughs> was the feminine. Will and Grace. Yeah. Well, <laughs> never really Let's go back to uh, Low Down Dirty Shame with Wayne. Yeah. They, yes. they fried his hair to hell. Right. right? And then had him overtly feminine and right. like they, it's like they, it was an embarrassing caricature right. of what gay men were and right. even to this or day yeah. in in tv they the the gay person has to be um over flamboyant now oh, the first and foremost or the, yeah. let me say this nothing is wrong with being flamboyant or know. anything be yourself but there's so much dynamics of exactly there's so, so many, many more dynamics of yep. gay people mm -hmm. right. and they always put it in the one box yeah. yeah i definitely think that that's something that's happening more like people are realizing that there's different types of gay yeah <laughs> like at work I'm in a in aviation that's a predominantly if the male is there it's a predominantly gay right. Right. Mm -hmm. um atmosphere people will look at me and talk to me about girls and not realize that i'm gay and they're like right. i didn't you don't seem gay like you don't act gay and i'm like right. what does a gay act like mm -hmm. right. you know I mean? exactly. and that's that's so frustrating to me sometimes because it's like 
you can't just put us all in one box. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be categorized because not every straight person is the same. Mm-hmm. Right. So. No, I feel you on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, you did not answer. Mm-mm. So. I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you that. 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 I was going to ask I'm going to come out with this mm. is this is it this is the guy I didn't know we was going to be together forever first because you know it wasn't you know love at first sight some people have that but I was you know a little hesitant at first but I was like you know what I know for sure that this is the guy that I want to come out with right and then you know as months and years went on I was like okay we want I want to marry this man mm-hmm. <laughs> just so y'all know mm-hmm. but it was it was a lot when I came out because I came out on social media I put a, I posted a video on my Facebook of me and him in Atlanta because we were together like I want to say a year and a half mm-hmm. before, before right. I came out and yeah, we had all yeah. these pictures and videos and I'm seeing everybody post they love mm-hmm. on Facebook and I was like, damn, why I can't post the person I'm with? And then one day I was just like, you know what? My birthday had just passed. I think I was 30. Mm-hmm. I think I turned 30 and I was like, you know what? I live my 20s for everybody else. Mm-hmm. It's time yeah. for me to live these years for me now. So I posted the video and I got a lot of love back. But then, you know, and I told everybody, if you don't like it, if you feel otherwise, <laughs> deuces. Delete. <laughs> yeah, right. Deuces. Exit stage left. Mm-hmm. I'm not begging to be anybody's friend. You, you can go. Yeah. I'm, I'm not that kind of a guy. But it was, I got a few comments or messages that people right. said, yeah, yeah. you know, just because the city that I'm from, like, the gay people in the city that I am from are too, like, you know. you know, that I know of are like, you know, maybe extra flamboyant mm-hmm. and out there and it's just really like l- look bad upon. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know anybody that's like me and I'm I'm still, you know, I'm not no, I ain't nobody like that, but mm-hmm. I'm just saying like, I didn't have anybody to look up to. So when, I see the stuff when me or when I posted me and KJ, I just was like, it it was a lot, but mm-hmm. I was able to breathe. Mm-hmm. Like, right. You know, I bet you don't regret it now. Yeah, but I feel a lot better now, yeah. and and now I'm like nobody can tell me shit. Nobody, you know, nobody can tell me shit. You yeah, know? I mean, the, the, <laughs> you said that you're nobody, but at the end of the day, like by being ourselves, we give other people permission to be themselves too right and by putting that out there publicly right so you know like kudos to you for that like Oof. that's not a small thing even that's having this conversation y'all it's like <laughs> it's the question i asked and i turn around and i'm like yeah. Woo, lord this is deep oh, that's a huge thing man yeah. so what made you guys decide to you know share your love so publicly Starting with the Instagram and then, you know, going over to YouTube. Right. That was you, um, man. Yeah, He's the thing is, right, right, um, let me drink real quick. He didn't want to actually have a page to begin with, mm-hmm. right? And I was like, no, we really should get on an IG or whatever. I'm like, again, we have all these memories. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to just kind of keep posting, posting, posting on my page. Cause actually, that was funny because initially he wanted me to post them. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, they post me, they post me, they, they post me, but he'd never post me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, when I realized, like, this was kind of one side, I'm like, ah. <laughs> okay, so we're both throwing ourselves up. You wanted me to post you, I'll do it after you. Yeah. After you. I'm like, you post it and tag me and then tag me post it on my page. Mm-hmm. Right? And I, I stopped posting him until he got comfortable to the point where he wanted to post me. So mm-hmm. I guess I applied a lot of pressure. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but, I, but I posted him as a friend. Like, if you go on my page, right. you'll see. Like, I wouldn't even allude like to hug. even. Right. Like, it wouldn't even be a bro hug. He would just be like, there. Yeah, there. there. <laughs> Try my life. Right? So that's how that whole thing started. And then when, once he started posting me, I'm like, okay, bet. So then we started going there. And then I started the page. The IG page, and you know, he didn't want it private. It was private because he was like, you don't want it public either. Mm-hmm. And yeah, 
A few, eventually right. go. a few months went by though and i was like okay i gotta come out because now we got this instagram right. <laughs> so that helped too that yeah, helped. Right. yeah so then a few months went by and he really started getting into it and yeah he actually do way more than IG now than mm-hmm. i do mm-hmm. yeah. on our page yeah so but him personally his ig he be my ig be pop right like, <laughs> i post more on our page and i do my personal one right. he's more you know <laughs> Okay, I oh, mean, yeah. you always you, you always have that one in the relationship too, because I think in our dynamic is the same, right. and the story is kind of similar with right. the Instagram in that I probably was the one that was like, oh, oh no, back. like I, we can't go public yet. Like right. I'm still in Jamaica, I'm still working, right. and every time I would see that is really somebody else for follow, you, though, no, like, it really is Jamaica. Like I never heard like how is that? I'm, I'm gonna let you finish your thought, but I really want to know your like upbringing like how was that coming mm-hmm. up in jamaica as okay so black male too so we're gonna come back to that come back to that yeah, right yeah. Sorry, like, no 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 yeah <laughs> that's good man and then so with us we started a page because we wanted to be able to kind of give updates for the wedding and any planning that we're gonna have just right. so that they could see things behind the scenes right, right, right. but then like every other day we were seeing somebody follow us and it was just a random person from jamaica and i was just like damn Oh no, this is not what this was for. Right. <laughs> yeah, and I was so afraid and he was like, you know, just if people are seeing it then you might as well just make it open. Right. And it took us months. It took us months. Yeah, it took us months, yeah, to, took us right. months okay. right. to feel comfortable to do that. Yeah. And the minute we did, we got so much love. Right. And yeah, then people started saying they want to see more and you know it's we have an important place. Um, particularly in both the African American communities and the Caribbean communities, right. to be able to show love between two men, right. and that's what pushed us to start the YouTube page. Right, right. Well, yeah. it's the same for us. Yeah. Yes, that's right. literally exactly it. Yeah, because yeah, we did well, actually for YouTube for him. He was the one that wanted it. And I, I really didn't. I wanted us to go to TikTok. So we put on our we put on IG. We said, what should we do? Should we do YouTube? YouTube on TikTok. And they all voted YouTube. They wanted us to be on YouTube. On TikTok. <laughs> doing all that shit. <laughs> Shit. You know, you no. and we not even there yet. So I don't know. <laughs> we don't do the YouTube. But yeah, so we, I, I eventually gave in and I'm like, okay, fine, YouTube. YouTube, mm-hmm. if you want to do YouTube, let's go. And he's like, all you got to do is show up. I'm going to try and Just show up. And I'm like, okay, cool, I'm going to show up. You just got to sit down. And I started doing mm-hmm. that and, you know, I actually got into it. So mm-hmm. now I'm actually good with yeah, it. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, and then again, the same thing. Like, the feedback was. Uh, I guess so positive about both of the avenues that mm-hmm. I was like, wow, we really needed to do this for people who just really needed to see stuff like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're not yeah. showing us on TV. Yeah, right. I don't, I still don't see people like us on TV. Yeah. It's very few. You are far between. between right. yeah. Like Logo had a quick um, Noah's Ark. Mm-hmm. That was the first on black Ark, gay yeah. sitcom that I had ever seen yeah them. i saw those like, to yeah. be honest i think that's the last no besides polls but mm-hmm. that wasn't yeah, but look how many story. years that in was decades between yeah. them like, right yeah. right yeah yeah so what we're doing is like really important yeah you know so kudos to everybody out there who does it like yes. it's not yeah, just us yes yeah There's no so it takes a lot of yeah. balls because a lot of times like for me and for us the battle is also like how much do you share Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. right because at the end of the day you still got to keep some stuff here yeah. Yeah. you want to be able to like just keep some stuff that you want to just okay this is ours mm-hmm. but then when you're in the social space people love what's yours too mm-hmm. so, <laughs> they want to see that and too. they're so invested right, right. Yeah. so yeah. it's like how much do you share and at what point do you say okay you're oversharing right pull it back mm-hmm. you know and just kind of just Give them enough, but not too much. Yeah, and we yeah. say that to say we love the love, guys. But we love not. the love. We love the we love. Do. Yeah, but, like but, it's an internal battle for us. Like yeah, you know, yeah. just what do you keep to yourself versus what do you share, and it's still yeah. important to yeah. keep a lot mm-hmm. of things right. to yourselves too. You know? Right, and yeah. even being like being because we're now, I guess, out for new experiences for us as well. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like we're still like. 
that feeling don't go away. Like, wow, I'm really doing this. I'm mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. with these, talking about these topics in front of my camera and just yeah. sharing yeah. myself, pieces <laughs> of myself yeah. with people. Yeah. Yeah. And then that, I still like... I take some balls. And it's still like, we can't even expect express ourselves fully just yet right. even though with the stuff that we post online people are like wow how can you do you know they right. a lot of people are surprised what we do but right. i still have those moments where i'm like okay babe I'm yeah like, you know like, i want to hold your hand like, like he might be talking or he <laughs> might be doing something crazy and he don't want to post it because mm -hmm. i'll be like no that's personal <laughs> <I'm> like they're <laughs> loving though <laughs> Let me clear. I might be twerking, but he may be twerking as well. Oh, yeah, I'm just doing my life. I'm just doing my life. I'm just doing my Equal moves. opportunity <laughs> relationship. This is the moves. You hear me? Let the people see you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it, man. I but get going it, back so to much. my question, and oh, babe, I want you to answer that yeah, too, because y'all both are. Caribbean. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's fuck. Yeah, so, Jamaica, Trinidad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. But I mean. Just, I in general, I think growing up in the Caribbean, like it's tough because one, we depend on a lot of, in terms of TV and media, mm -hmm. we see a lot of American things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you never really saw much of it in the American space, let alone in the Caribbean mm -hmm. context. Right. It's non-existent there. Yeah. Right. And if it is that it does exist, it is never something positive. Right. You're seeing headlines of, you know, especially in Jamaica, people that have been slain just for sexuality. If a gay man goes missing, it's almost not even important. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, it's like a kind of tap on the shoulder kind of situation. Right. And then you just don't hear anything about it anymore. Mm -hmm. So it, right. it's hella scary, you know? Right. And you encounter these things even within your own household. People mm -hmm. are saying things and don't realize that they're speaking directly about you. Mm -hmm. No, 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 they speak yeah. about They don't even know. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that sometimes they might. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they might and they're saying it to kind of like the show you that I'm doing. not accepting of right. this. So right. you, you better try and correct it right, if right. you thought that, right. you know. Right. So, I mean, it, it was rough, but at the end of the day, like mickey tomlin like right. i love her so much me because, too yeah, <laughs> because she has always empowered me to be myself mm -hmm. and as long as i try and live every day trying to be the best alec right. then that's all that's important and right. she's gonna love me regardless right. <laughs> that's what gave me the strength to be able to go and face the world every single day right. and have a smile on my face and not not that I didn't care what other people thought, but I never let people see my That's hurt. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. That I dealt with on my own. Mm -hmm. But for the people close to me, as long as those people love me and accept me, mm -hmm. that's all that's, that's important. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about you? For me, oof. <laughs> <laughs> Your antenna, I was going through my head like, Lord, what, how, how much of this? How far? Oh, yeah, I right. So, <laughs> one break, get a little break, man. <laughs> For me, it was interesting because uh, I grew up in two places, mm -hmm. right? So, initially, like growing up in Grenada, like, Grenada is way smaller, so. I feel like throughout my lifetime growing up, I've always had to be a version of myself mm -hmm. and never really who I was. Yep. Just to mask, you know, where I live, the yep. culture there, and you know how to navigate and just stay under the radar almost. Right? So I think that's what it was for me. I was always like a, a manly man, I guess, because. Mm -hmm. I think part of what fueled that is because I grew up in a house of just women. Mm -hmm. It was my mom and my sister. So, you know, I, I was the only boy. And I think I had to force to push past not being feminine, mm -hmm. having that influence all the time. Right? So, there was a phase where I was just behaving like a terrible ass kid. Mm -hmm. I was on the block, I was doing dumb shit, fighting, smoking. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> It was a phase, and I think all of that really did help shape me, but I was kind of rebelling against being gay and, you know, having that feminine influence, not having a dad around, not having you know, a male positive influence, right? Mm -hmm. So that was one of it. But I think when I left Grenada and I went back to Trinidad, I think that's where 
I guess my ability to be more free came in. Because Trinidad, they're, they're pretty more liberal than a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Like we've had, uh, <laughs> we've had gay bars and stable clubs mm -hmm. that were gay for as far back as I can remember. Like, I've been to my first gay club in Trinidad when I was 15 years old. That's where I went to my like, first gay club too. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, at what age, babe? I was 15. In the street. I was, <laughs> I was 25. Okay. <laughs> in the street. But I remember that. I you know, like, I think that is where, you know, it started with me almost realizing, okay, this could be okay. Mm -hmm. Where you could just survive comfortably. Like, again, I've been able to navigate in Trinidad. Even, even being out of the years prior when I moved back there. Mm -hmm with my family was almost like a don't ask, don't tell type of situation mm -hmm. where I would never bring it around them where, you know, it was like, okay, this is me, this is y'all. There's a line here, y'all not going to be part of this aspect of my life, mm -hmm. but I could still show up and be the son and be the nephew mm -hmm. and be, you know, the person that y'all may want me to be. Even if you suspect something, you don't see anything, so mm -hmm. you can't say anything. Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> but there's another version to kind of cope with the fact that they did not accept who I really was. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you know? so <laughs> and that's the major thing right. right there. With now that I feel like with me and Bay, the thing is like we are now that we're out. This is a whole new thing for oh, yes. us and our families. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have to figure it out now because both of our mm -hmm. our. Immediate families, our brothers, sisters, moms, dads, they all knew what was going on. Yeah. Right. But now they actually get to they see have to it. Face it no, they they have to face yeah. it. So with that, everybody else. With yeah. everybody else. So now that yeah. was when it you know, when I came up, that was my thing. That was trying to, you know, teach them and because at the end of the day, it's a teaching lesson too. It is. It's a like, lesson. listen, yeah. we we have been suppressed for a very. I've yeah. been suppressed for a very long yeah, time. Man. Yeah, being Mom, just showing a version Dad, of who you Dad, y'all knew I was gay for years, mm -hmm. and I ain't never posted a nigga online. Mm -hmm. Right. But now I'm posting them online, and you're <laughs> faced with it. Yeah. And that's where the issue, you know, may come in. How did how did that in. how did that change the dynamic of your family though? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys could just feel that sound yeah, it, it, it was a lot it's still i feel like it's still a work teaching, in progress. a work in progress yeah, still in progress, teaching yeah. like i remember one time i had to tell my sister who i love to death but i she wasn't recognizing that I had like my prior relationship, I was with the guy for five years. Mm -hmm. And she was like, wow, you was with him longer than I was with my husband. Mm -hmm. And I was like, exactly. And I ain't never post them online at one time during mm -hmm. five mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine nobody I, knowing about the that, person you love? I think that, that's an eye opener for a lot of the families too. Right. Because they realize like you've been dealing with this for so long. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I think at that point they start to second guess who they are. Mm -hmm. Like, dang, did I really put this person through? Like my family, somebody I'm supposed to love and support. Mm -hmm. I made them feel as though they had to live in a closet. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what that's the changing moment that a lot of families need. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause I think my mother has has gone through that. And right. I'm so happy because now she asks about him. Right. She tries to have conversations with him through my ear pods. <laughs> right. Like she's, you know, like she's really turned into leaf and I'm so thankful. And I, I don't think it would have happened if I did not come out on Instagram right. the way that I did. Right. How was you coming out to, since we talking about us coming out on Instagram and social mm -hmm. media, one thing that you actually have or that you guys actually have as a child as well. Mm. So how was yes. the dynamic with that and coming out that portion of it all well, to so, social media? And, and to be that. honest, he is the reason why I did not come out sooner. Mm. Right. Because I didn't, I didn't want him to have to deal with that. Because right. so many, not even just adults, kids are cruel. Cruel, cruel. They are, they can be some of the meanest people mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. So. I didn't want to make him have to deal with anything because of his dad. Mm -hmm. right. So I kept it to myself. But when I met Alec, I'm like, yo, this is getting serious. And right. I need to introduce them. Then I need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, go from there. And right. we can go from there. So once they met, it was, 
they like they got along via FaceTime very well. Mm. And one day I just sat him down and I had a conversation and that's when I told him like that he's gay. Mm. I asked him if you knew what it meant. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, does it make you feel any way? He was like, no, I still love you. He was like, he, and he said something See, to these, me that was- See, these new, what, what generation is it? Not to cut you off. Z, yeah. Gen is Z. he a Gen Z? Z? Yeah. He might be another so generation. Might, <laughs> <laughs> I got you, He's so He might be another one. Be but they're understanding. They these are. kids know. One of the things that he said to me, and it was so profound for him to have been 10 years old. I asked him if he, um, how do you put it? I asked him about a friend of his. Like, if he, if your friend was gay, would it matter to you? He's like, no, I don't love my friend because he's straight. I love him because of how he treats me. Right. Period. Okay. A ten year old. Right. Yeah. Adults don't understand they that concept, and that's the thing. Don't. Sometimes adults don't realize we complicate things way, way more than what it much. needs to be. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Him. You know what's crazy? Like I'm, I'm really interested to see like what the world will be like in the next, let's say, twenty years. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. like twenty years when these kids are older, and even like our generation, we we were way more liberal than the baby boomers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. sure. And you know, a lot of the the oppression and the the anti this and anti that still come from them, the baby boomers, mm -hmm. right? So I'm very interested to see now as they move on into their next phase right. of preparing for heaven or Hell. otherwise. <laughs> no, <I didn't. laughs> yeah. right. You know, it'll be very interesting to see as we now get older and we're more liberal and our kids mm. are coming in. Just It's just interesting to see Everyone's where everybody evolving. is. The world is shifting to more everybody being right. on good vibes mm -hmm. and positive vibes mm -hmm. and acceptance and support. Yeah. Right. So I'm really interested to see where the world is going to be. But yeah. one thing I wanted to say, though, years, yeah. we do have to take into account, like you said, the baby boomers. Mm -hmm. Y'all, be still give them some, you know, some... Give, give them a chance to come around because at the end of the day, I mean, look at you got to think about Congress. what all happened to them when they came up. I mean, Do you yeah. know if you know if you're worried about coming out to your parents or if your parents came out to you some kind of wrong or when you came out to them, if they came out when you came out, if they. <laughs> I get what you're saying. I'm sorry, I'm lit. If, if, if when if you came out. <laughs> If when you Snip came it out, out cut they it out. did something wrong to you. <laughs> yes, that's what yeah. I'm trying to say. Give them a chance to come around. Give them a chance to yeah. come around. I mean, I'm because at I, the I'll end say, of the day, yeah. you gotta remember, like, all the stuff the they time. did through. It was at the front time. Like, black people were not accepted for a very long time. time. Yeah. All the shit between racism that we've been through. All, just all right. everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm very interested to see now as, you know, mm -hmm. the world right. evolves into this new era that it's headed. Mm -hmm. How the whole thing with gay relations and acceptance unfolds. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So I think now with with the way the world is, like we have gay people in high places now. Right. We A have lot. transgender A in lot. high places now. Right. A lot. Not like the whole spectrum is everywhere. Right. right. Change we exist. is here. We're here. It's we're not here. coming. It is here. We're here. So and we ain't going nowhere. We're not. We're right. not. We were, we've been here this we've entire time. We've been here. We've been here. Now but now we, we, we we y'all know we're here. Like, like, we are in mean? this like, bitch. I mean, loud and proud. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, on that note, guys, because I mean, I feel yes. like we could be doing this Child, like, yes. the entire life. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm going to pose on one last question <laughs> to you guys. Mm -hmm. And how, I just want to hear from you, like, and this is to you too. Okay. Like, and you. Yeah, and to me. Right. <laughs> how important has community or you being able to form your own version of community been in forming who you are today? Ooh, oh. start. Can I start? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <Yes>. So <clears throat> I started, I came out at 17, 18. I formed, my friends became my family. My friends are still my family. Mm -hmm. And they have shaped who I am because at 18, I was very uncomfortable with who I was. Mm -hmm. But my friends that were 19, 20, 21, drag queens, trans, mm -hmm. like, gay sex workers, you know what I'm saying? Like they really changed my mindset to become this open person that I am now. Right. So if it wasn't for my community that was surrounding me at that time, I probably would not be the Brian that I am today. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that I was able to choose them and have them shape the person that I've become because I actually kind of like who I am a little bit. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I'll go next. Mm -hmm. um, far as like friends and things, me personally, I had a whole bunch of like straight friends mm -hmm. for the longest. And then when I moved, when I came out, like a lot of them kind of went away. I'm not even gonna lie, which I don't mind. Cause if you don't want to be here, there's the door. I'm, I'm fine with that. But what I picked up was a lot of people that love me, that are here for me, that uh, that are right or die for me, me and KJ, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of his friends became my friends <clears throat> and then we made a lot of new friends and they all just, it, it's a vibe. They always there for us. And I'm like, okay, this is a friend. So going back to what I said earlier about go places where you're accepted, not yeah, tolerated, what mm -hmm. he told me. Well, all these people, they actually care. I don't gotta, you know, you, cause my friends from the past, I feel like they act, I ain't gonna lie, they act a little weird at mm -hmm. times. Like if they are still around, the mm -hmm. ones that are still around, they, some of them besides my best friend, you know, <laughs> Shana, shout outs, but they act a lot, they, they still act weird mm -hmm. like around me and it's, so I'm like, yeah, place. so I, I, I keep my distance, mm -hmm. but it's very important to have that circle to where you can go and feel comfortable and feel accepted. And that that's what we have now, or mm -hmm. I have now. They had that for years with his friends, but mm -hmm. this, within the last, what, two, three years, that's mm -hmm. that's been something new to me, and I, I, I like it a lot. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I think it's more or less to, uh, you can answer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like for me, it was different, like because when I moved uh, to Florida, I moved alone, like, mm -hmm. and I moved with a family back in, you know, I, I didn't have no cousins here or nobody, mm -hmm. right? So ultimately, the friends that I made, they became my family as well, right? And uh, in a large sense, they definitely helped me to settle in and to feel comfortable with who I was, motivate me to do better. And because, I mean, a lot of them, they're in so many different spheres of life mm -hmm. that, you know, you get to appreciate and take something from each one that you need, you know, mm -hmm. to just better who you are as an individual. Um, and then even like with, with him, with when Pierre came into the picture, you know, like the the celebration from my friends was so eye opening. Like <laughs> mm -hmm. it was crazy because I was a bad bitch. That's <laughs> why I'm just kidding. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> yeah, like I don't think any of the people I was with before I got that response or celebration or anything like that, mm -hmm. which was great because you know, like at first I didn't I didn't think it was gonna be like a forever situation last time and I'm like wait a goddamn minute <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Right so that was great and you know it really now put us in a space where we're able to help and influence the people around us the community. Even friends who've been single for years who never wanted a relationship mm -hmm. now they feel like okay maybe Maybe mm -hmm. there's hope, maybe mm -hmm. there's a possibility, maybe there's something that could work out after all, because, you know, if they could do it, why not me? Mm -hmm. Right, which is why I think, like, us as black gay men, it's so important to highlight what we're doing, y'all, us, and other couples, mm -hmm. to show, yo, we all doing the streets. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That ain't it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you could actually find real love and find somebody who's gonna be right or die for you and just exist in a really positive space and just be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, for me, like my community, I, I can't even speak on the size because mm. people who, like, even just since coming out, they've become a part of my community. Right. But for the people who have been there from day one. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of straight friends, but mm -hmm. I have a lot of straight friends who have accepted me through each stage of my life. Mm -hmm. We've been able to work through our differences. Mm -hmm. And you know, for a lot of people, I like at 30, they never knew that side of me. Right. You know, so right. they're just now getting to know who I really am or 100% me right. because I was afraid to express myself the way that I do now. Right. But I applaud them for having patience and knowing that there was something there right. and trying to get it out of me and being patient enough with me to be able to stand here being this version right. because I love 
this version. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it yeah. so much. I love this version. <laughs> it's the best version. It's yeah. the best. It, it, it really 30s is. 30s are lit. Yeah, yeah I love it, this version. I really do. And I mean, like, I, I can't say thanks to them enough because everybody comes into your life for a reason Amazing. and not everybody stays the fact that i've had so many people that They're have stayed, stayed yeah. mm -hmm. and have taught me so many things just by living their truth mm -hmm. i'm right now paying it forward by living my truth right. hoping right. that it allows other people to be able to do the same awesome right. yes. preach yes. 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 Guys, it was yes. so much fun this was having great. you guys yes. here. It was this happening. is gonna happen again soon. Yes, yes. yesterday yeah. and today. Yeah. I mean, it's been an awesome day. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. I'm sure you guys like the video, so yes. give us a thumbs up. <laughs> right. You need to go and subscribe to Kerry and Pierre. Right. Go and follow them on Instagram if Same you haven't handle. already. Yes. Yes. Same yeah. Kerry and Pierre, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Yes. And Kerry please make and sure Pierre. you guys share and yeah, subscribe to us too. Subscribe. Yes. Subscribe. Yes. subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right. We out. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>